I'll hold it steady, so sit down for a sec. Yeah, oh, sorry, could you? And there. Oh, sorry again, and, and thanks for the help. This was even heavier than I thought it'd be. Ah, don't sweat. Besides, aren't you a famous singer? You got a whole crew working for you, so should you just let them handle it? If you get hurt, you can't play your uke anymore. And if you can't play, it's game over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me there. Yeah, yeah, this event was kind of a rush job, so so we don't have much staff working it. I, I just didn't want to make any more trouble for them. But that'd defeat the point if I got injured, so yeah. I mean, you're a real nice guy, aren't you? Like, even though you made it big, none of that fame went to your head. And the fact that you're considerate of your staff? Mad respect. Nah, you're exaggerating. <laughs> Not at all. He's right, you know. Huh? Yeah, you're always trying to help us out even after pouring your heart and soul into your performance. Now that the show's over, it's time for us to step up to the plate. Yeah, you ought to take a break. Relax. <sighs> I just feel like there's more I could be doing. But you're right. I, I should step back. And thank you so much for earlier. It'd be great to see you again at another one of my shows. Yeah, for sure. I'll be looking forward to it. Good luck, man. Is. Are you filming something here? Sorry if you're trying to get through. You see, we've rented out this place, the entire mall, actually, to film the latest edition of our variety show. Oh, no kidding. Sounds pretty big budget. Oh, yeah, you betcha. It's a special program with a ton of backers. It's called Anaconda Escape. Anaconda Escape, huh? You've never heard of it? In Japan, it always draws in viewers by the thousands. Once a year, we rent out the Anaconda Shopping Center and have celebrities participate in what's essentially a huge escape room. I must have slipped my radar. Maybe it's worth watching if it's so popular. I'll have to tune in later. Please do. We're about to start filming the Challengers round. It's for regular folks who want a chance to compete after a rigorous screening process. This year's player is wild. The man's been dubbed Mr. Anaconda. He's so dedicated, he actually built a training course in his backyard just to practice for today. Oh, sounds like quite the spirited. What? Get out of here. Kawamoto-san backed out? 
Oh, you're seriously telling me this seconds before we start filming? The celebrity shoot is set for next week. There's absolutely no way we can reschedule. No, but my hands are tied. That thing hung up on me. Shit. Imara-san, what was that all about? Ah, uh, Onishi-chan. Get this shit. So, you know that guy Kawamoto-san, our participant for the Challengers round? The Mr. Anaconda guy. Yeah? We're gonna start recording a segment now, right? Yeah, about that. Turns out he's been suddenly stricken with gout. And can hardly walk. Wait, what? Holy crap, poor guy. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. I hear gout's excruciating. Ugh. Apparently, he's obsessed with the food here in Hawaii and has been wolfing down shrimp and beer like it's nobody's business. Damn, cow, unbelievable gluttony. Uh. Uh. Well, what's done is done. Whether Kawamoto san gets better or not, we're down to the wire here. We need a replacement. Stat! Oh. And who do we have here? Oh, him? He was just passing by. I was telling him a little bit about the show. Hmm, not a celeb. At least not that I know of. Pretty fit, too. You know, this just might work. Screw it. Let's do it. Hey, buddy, how'd you like to appear on Anaconda Escape as our new challenger? For me? Yeah! Wait, do you really be okay with that? What happened to that rigorous screening process or whatever. I'd be skipping right over that. Not at all, my good man. Based on my impeccable producer's instinct, you pass with flying colors. Congratulations, friend. Please give it a chance. We only have today to record this segment. There's no, there's no going back. Will you do it? Will you rise to the challenge? Perhaps a luxurious prize would sweeten the pot. I don't know. Prizes aside, I don't know the first thing about this game. Huh, starting from scratch, are we? Well then, allow me to explain. Put simply, it's an escape room, complete with riddles at every turn. One reviewer said, a fierce game of cat and mouse through a maze-like mall. Make your dashing escape towards the goal and claim a fancy prize. <laughs> Easy enough and tons of good fun. All right. Wow, it does sound like a good thrill, but uh, who exactly is going to be chasing me? Ah, take a look over there. Oh. Some kids from the local college track and wrestling teams, they help out every year. Uh, just a heads up, each one is a beast in their own right. I can see that. So those are the guys I'm up against? Yeah, it's no fun if it's too easy. You gotta put the pedal to the metal for that prize. Don't worry, there are tons of escape strategies available. You just have to use that noggin a little. It's a guaranteed blast once you get going. Okay then, looks like I'm in for a wild ride. We're counting on you, Challenger. <clears throat> uh, what's your name again? It's Kasuga. Kasuga-san, brilliant. I'm Imada, the producer. Seems our meeting was an act of fate. All right. So then, Kasuga-san, ready to tackle Anaconda Escape? I'm ready. It sounds cool, so I'm going all in. No, oh, you're the best. I owe you one. Though, full disclaimer, I'm just a regular guy. I don't know the first thing about acting, so not exactly TV material, you know? Ah, uh, nothing to fret over. Our show's selling point is unfiltered entertainment. Don't worry about looking good for the cameras. Just get out there and enjoy yourself. Uh, with that, Onishi-chan, I leave the rest of the explaining to you. I've got to get everything else set up. Right, let me go over the finer details. Yeah, that'd be great.
Yes. Yes. Okay. Totally. The battle is on! That's kicking time! Let's do it! Let's get it done! That's how you do it. Win to be proud. Talking about goal! <laughs> Flawless! Oh, what's all this? Congratulations! You did it! 
Here, here! Congrats! Congratulations! Ha-ha! <laughs> that was epic! Yes! Congratulations! Congrats indeed! Thanks, everyone! Once again, Kasuga-san, fantastic job. You're our totally random last-minute pinch hitter, but you really delivered. You really put up a fight there, Kasuga-san. Watching your nail-biting escape efforts made my palms all sweaty. I'm just glad I made it to the goal. I wish I could have done more quizzes and stuff, but I wasn't really sure I had the time. Yeah, it definitely takes smarts and speed to get through it. But nice job, you really outdid yourself. We captured plenty of great material for the show. We really saved our hides. As promised, here's your prize. As far as I can tell, this broadcast is gonna be a smash hit. A new star's been born among our challengers. I think so too. So, about next year's show. Mr. Anaconda Reborn versus Gentle Giant Kasuga-san. Oh, wouldn't that send ratings through the roof? That's pure genius! Shall I start drafting a proposal? Whoa, wait, wait, guys, I'm just a stand-in. Plus, I'm sure more people out there want to compete. Might as well give them a fair chance, right? Hmm, that's certainly true. You're a good guy, Kasuga-san. But if you're ever interested, we'd love to have you again. I'm sure the production team will snatch you up right away. Maybe one of these days, but for the time being, I'm gonna hold off. What? Yeah, I know Yonakura. He's our cyclist for the televised journey across America. What do you mean he's got hemorrhoids? They're so bad he bleed out the second his ass touches a bicycle seat? <sighs> but that's supposed to follow hot on the heels of Anaconda Escape. Hey, Kasuga-san. You like bikes. Right? I think I've had enough travel for now. Thanks. Wanna check that again. shop out? Uh, I might be a good around here. reservation later soon. Good around here. Kasuga, aloha! Don't aloha me. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujiman tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of... Uh, Suji science. So... What's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Ah, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please, take the elevator. What? 
Well, indeed. It's an underground coliseum, the Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Suji League, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. The guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look! There's a match going on right now. What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Force Jack! He's down to his last mon! Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <laughs> is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. <laughs> no, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! <sighs> this really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three Mon, led by their Sujimon trainer. Victory goes to the trainer whose Sujimon defeat their opponents. A three-on-three -three Sujimon clash is considered the classic Sujimon battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujimon, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack, is among the League's highest-ranked trainers and a member of the fearsome Discreet Four. And sitting atop that hedonistic foursome, the ultimate Sujimon master, King. King, huh? Look at him. Oh, no time for that now. The match is starting. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match. In the silver corner, a man so saddled with debt, he's resorted to Sujimon battles to stay afloat. Koichi Idano! And his opponent in the gold corner, the former Yakuza Kum tourist who never stays down, Ichiban Kasuga! Uh, me? What the hell's going on, Sensei? I'll admit, I've always been the type to beg forgiveness then ask permission. I'll explain later. You just need to win! Wait, win? But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei! I haven't got any Sujimon! Worry not, my boy. I've called in some old friends. Here they come now. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, chum! Hi there. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me, his student Karaki. And I'm his most positive and energetic student, Yokawa. Who the hell are these guys? Yasuo Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi-san was my closest confidant when I was champion, and a Sujiman in his own right. Back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sort of... went bust. Thankfully, the Sujiman sensei came to my rescue. And now that he's offered to cut me another check, I'm here to help him out once more. The Sodachi-san was a master of his dojo. He excels at training and strategy. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiban's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. 
Your opponents don't look so tough. Just give Sodachi's son and his boys some guidance and trust them. You can win. Seriously? Jeez. You better not give me any crap if I lose. And without further ado, this Sojimon League rookie match is on! You guys ready for this? We got this for sure. All right, boys, charge! Whoa! -ho -ho! Put the kids to bed for this one, or wake them up and make them watch if they're little brats. Never Get ready. ready. Trust ha! me. these wholesome creeps and pervers do next? What are these Suji thinking? Actually, scratch that. Never ask him that. Trust me, uh, it's nightmare. Ah! Oh, baby! What's that Sujimon got in their bag of tricks? Considering a pinch hitter, Time maybe. To die. Things Sujimon aren't paid by the hour, or at all. Let's do this! Ah! we do that <laughs> well done my boy I knew you had what it takes knew it in my bones hmm. couldn't be wait that guy that's professor Morikasa isn't it uh, oh shit it's really him the former champion I thought the Suji League expelled him didn't they but he's back now or isn't he how intriguing! The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned! Bugger all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh, okay, okay. Morikasa-san.
<sighs> that got out of hand, Kasuka. I'm sorry. No shit! The hell was all that? I need some details here, Sensei. Right, I owe you that. The truth is, I'm the former Suji League champion. Ooh, it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the League was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. I was proud to be its champion. But since the Suji League committee was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. The Suji League committee? Did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate their wealthiest clients. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them. But they were too powerful. They exiled me from the League and claimed total authority. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, my plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the place of honor and glory it was before. I loved it once, my Suji League. I can't stand seeing it corrupted like this. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best, become Suji League Master, and win the championship! The champion's influence can be immense. If one wins the favor of the crowd, they could oust the committee itself. But you said they exiled you before. That's why I need to battle in your place? That's right! Please, Kasuka, will you do this for me? Why does it have to be me? What about Sadachi-san here? He's got way more experience than me. Sadachi-san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull-witted creator-wrestler look about him? Does that really help people see me? Kasuga, though, you have a knack for Sujiman and charisma to boot. Putting together a team is what you excel at. I don't know. The committee possesses terrifying wealth, you know. They've ruined the lives of countless poor Sujiman, all swallowed up by the system. And I am the Sujiman Sensei. As I told you before, I seek world peace. Not only for normal folk, however, for my Sujimon brethren as well. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment and exploitation of my kind. I'm asking a lot, I know, but you're the only one who can help. Mm. All right, when you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, you're really in? Uh, frankly, I don't understand all the details here, but... I know you're not a bad person, Sensei. If you say this matters to you, I'll help. Asuka, words fail me. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, old man. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm just so happy. <laughs> when someone else tries! Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. So, for the most part, I get how the Suji League works, but I'll still need more Sujimon, right? Hmm, you'll want three starters and three for the bench. That's at least six in total. So Dachi-san and his pupils are three, so... I've got to double my stock, basically. How am I supposed to do that? That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What? It really has to be that rough? Well, his explanation is somewhat crude, but not entirely wrong. Sujiman classically obey those who assert dominance. This will be easier to learn by doing. Oh, it seems there's a raid happening nearby. A raid? It's a gathering spot for strong Sujimon, where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuga, go over there and flex. D why? Look, raid dwellers 
respect strength. They naturally defer to the most gallant among them. If you don't want to flex, find some other way to display your vim and vigor, and then win their hearts. Just start by introducing yourself, all right? Oh, and take some of these. What are these? Suji gifts. I modeled them after traditional year-end presents. Didn't your parents give you any as a child? Wait. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Anyway, get to it, Sujimon Master Kasuga! I'll give it a shot.